My name is Dr. Daniela Connolly. I'm a family physician. And in my office, I often discuss issues of nutrition with my patients. And I have the pleasure today to be sitting with Professor Krimsky at Tufts University. And we are going to speak a little bit about genetically modified organisms. Um, Professor Krimsky, you wrote a very interesting review um, that points to the lack of consensus with regard to genetically modified uh, foods. Can you speak to that a little bit? Yes, I found out that the science uh, shows us that there is no consensus about the safety of genetically modified uh, plants uh, and, and food. Unfortunately, a lot of um, senior scientists claim there is consensus, but they are wrong. And this research shows that the consensus is, is an illusion. And why do you think that so many prominent and uh, outstanding scientists uh, and thought leaders are, are so fervent to protect um, this notion that genetically modified organisms are safe? They either have an interest in the agricultural industry or they just have decided that they're only going to read one study that supports their pre-existing point of view. It's not an honest assessment of what the scientific literature tells us. That seems very concerning to me, and certainly when I sit with my patients, I would have to tell them that there is no consensus then, and that in fact there may be uh, problematic issues with regard to health and, and genetically modified organisms. That's certainly a reasonable conclusion to make. I am so, myself am uh, skeptical. The federal government has decided in 1992 that they weren't going to require testing of genetically modified food. That was a terrible mistake. You put foreign genes in the food and you don't know what the outcome is going to be unless you rigorously test the products, which they require to do in Europe, but not in the United States. That's very interesting. So as a physician, when I prescribe a medication, uh, of course I tell my patient uh, the risks and benefits, and of course I let them know that they're being administered a medication because I want them to come and tell me that they've had a side effect or, or a complication of that medication. Is it fair to say then that uh, this isn't the case with genetically modified foods? It's certainly not. Not only we, uh, cannot, we, te we cannot test it on humans because we don't even know what people are eating but we have tested it on animals and the results have not always been favorable. There have been adverse consequences in at least 26 animal studies and that's of great concern. What is the position of the United States government with regard to uh, labeling? The government has decided that there's no necessity to label. They think that the food that is genetically modified is inherently safe. That is, no matter what you put into the food, it's going to be safe uh, unless you put in a peanut allergen into a soybean. But other than that, uh, they, th they believe that you can't do any damage to the food uh, if you put in a foreign gene, and that's just not true. So um, it, it seems to me that it's, uh, it's sort of the, 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 the decision should be left with the consumer whether they want to consume a food that may potentially be harmful or at least that there's no consensus of its safety. If you don't have required testing, then the consumer absolutely should have the determination of whether or not they want to try it out or let somebody else try it out. And uh, any law that restricts states from doing this it seems to me should be vetoed. Thank you so much for your time today, Dr. Kremsky.